Cinema Classics is sponsored by the Gateway Film Center and is produced by John DeSando and Johnny DiLoretto. Listen to shows online at WCBE.org. I'm Johnny DiLoretto. I'm John DeSando. This is Cinema Classics. It is. It's time to do not... We've done our best of the year. <laughs> we did. So I've been seeing all these articles pop up. I, I'm fascinated by them. Best of the decade list. Right. And right. I've read... I've lived read quite literally maybe 10 or more of these. It is always an argument as to whether it begins in 2010 or right, 2011. Right. I started worrying about that and then I decided not to. All right. Then I read an article by Owen Gleiberman, which I love that guy. Oh, I do. Great writer. Variety. He did one, right, he did one, uh, the most overrated of the decade, and it included a lot of the movies that I've been seeing on this, <laughs> these lists. So I thought it'd be fun for us to do that. Yeah, yeah, all right. I can start out. Yeah. 2010. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to 2010 right with you. you All right. Know. What? King's Speech. Wrong. All right. That movie is terrible. <laughs> well, that's why I picked it. Man. <laughs> King's Speech. You know what? I got to tell you, it turned up on no one's list. <laughs> um, mine from that year? Yep. Drive. Yep, and I got Drive, but I have it at 11. You have it at 11. 2011? 2011, yeah. Oh, but okay. I still have it right. I All right. still have it. 2011. No, you're right. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. But anyway, same ballpark. Where, where is Tom Hardy or who is who was in Drive? Who is it? Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan Gosling. One of the coolest. I mean, it is a cool, cool movie. I don't understand why it's not on a lot of people's lists because that movie really sparked like a, a a kind of big upturn in his career. It did, but um, it was it was a challenge for some people to sit and watch somebody driving. Listen, there's a. <laughs> Well, he didn't drive that much in the movie. <laughs> but and the camera is on him so all the time. So many uh, weird <laughs> movies made the best of the list. Well, um, out of this decade, yeah. certainly you have to mention somewhere or another Avengers. Yeah, you do. I got it. I got uh, it down I here. Mean, I have. I, I kind of lumped it all in. I think Avengers, uh, the first one, was just such an exciting surprise. Uh, and uh, the second one was a big overwrought okay. mess. Um, but the last two, those Infinity War and uh, Endgame, it's a one-two punch, really great, long, epic films that brought that whole entire 20-plus uh, film story you to know, a close. It's a, great. A combination of technological wizardry, but more than that characterization. And how do you get that many characters and make them each one meaningful? This is brilliance. Yeah. Well, the main one's meaningful. You know what I mean? There's a lot of those peripheral well, characters yeah, that we can we're do. We're glossing it. But it over. I got it. Yeah. Speaking of another franchise that kicked off this decade, John Wick. Oh, the John yeah. Wick franchise, which is a lot of fun. Yeah. Kind of a, a dark um, assassin epic. So we're three pictures deep into that one. Yeah. I put the first one, I guess, on there. Yeah, yeah. I think overall, and it's gaining. It's even gaining power. Right. He is becoming such an icon. We're doing nothing. <laughs> I mean, he's it, become yeah, he's become a tough guy icon. It's really interesting because he was never like that. He was like the surfer dude. We're talking about obviously Keanu Reeves, uh, the surfer dude, the Matrix kind of you know befuddled uh, yes. technological uh, messiah, and now here he is this this quiet, stoic, brutal, tough guy. I love it. Reprising. His, what, Bill and Ted or something yeah, like that? Yeah, that's happening. That's happening. Yeah, that's well, happening. now in 13, I was very excited okay. and enjoyed Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, me wow. too. Great. I mean, One of the memorable best, film. Best Scorsese movies in a long while. And the first time, for my money, that his collaboration with Leonardo DiCaprio paid off. Yes, oh boy. They finally sure. found a project DiCaprio was old enough for, right enough for, it worked. And it so hit the times. My goodness. Yeah. It just was a perfect combination. I got one here for you. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's talk about Tarantino. Because I think uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is uh, certainly one of the best movies of the year and one of the best movies of his career, got thereby it. making it one of the best films of the decade. Yeah. Yep. But I think it bears mentioning uh, Hateful Eight and Django Unchained. Yeah, I've got Django. Yeah. There's... Hateful I somehow missed. Yeah. I, I, for my list. Oh. But I'm yeah, I was going back there and thinking about it, and I, I just feel like any this guy, even though his movies might not resonate with everyone, he's just such a master of the yep. medium, yep. and uh, they're always so entertaining. I, I don't think you can ignore his other contributions. Well, yeah, you can't ignore Scorsese's Irishman either. 
No, you cannot. <laughs> I mean, this this man has made his mark uh, it, in this decade. It's about time. <laughs> it is. Wolf of Wall Street and the Irishman. Yeah, Let's group yeah. those together. Uh, speaking of, let's not ignore commercial successes as we, you know. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Craig's James Bond. Oh, good. Sure. Uh, Enduring. Yes. Uh, Skyfall. I think that was yep. one of his better entries. Yep. Uh, I'll tell you a little one that you might forget. Yeah. But I was so impressed with the performance. Whiplash. This came mm. about in 14. Right. I yeah. know that that yeah. put uh, Damien Chazelle on the yeah. on the directorial yeah. 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 map. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of him, La La Land. Oh, gosh, yeah. I got that for sure. Yeah, right? good choice. I mean, I yeah. think that's... Uh, that's his masterwork so far. Yep, yep. Um, Here's one no one is putting on their list. I, I suspect I know why, but I'm going to uh, put it on there. Um, Midnight in Paris. Oh my gosh, you know, I would have put it on there if I had remembered it. Yeah. Good Lord, yeah. Yeah, I think people are ignoring it because Excellent of all the controversy choice. surrounding uh, Woody Allen. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, I think Owen Gleiberman and his, his one overrated piece dismissed it as you know kind of a fluff fluffy thing but um i don't know it's it seems to be the most charming entry from woody allen's late era oh it's essential woody allen yeah not only does he have a lyrical romantic piece set in paris it also reflects him yeah his major character you know one let's and if you can't stomach woody allen he's not in it so right but you know i think you alluded to something that is certainly a great topic for the last decade mm. and that is the place of woody allen who has been practically blackballed yeah which is why you might not even see it on somebody's best of the decade you know this is it's about time they blackballed him because <laughs> i can't I, he's just running on fumes this guy like, midnight in paris i was our lucky like we got lucky with that one the rest of this stuff i don't know what he's doing i'll tell you one that a lot of people won't select because it's just a little too fantastic. Yeah. Uh, in 17, we had The Shape of Water. Oh, I hated that. I, yeah, see, now there you go. I, I wonder why I didn't know that. Of course. Yeah, no. It's a little too exotic for you, a little no, too no, strange. Just, no. Well, strange. I don't know why. Nothing is too anything uh, for me. For you. It just uh, is uh, crap. It doesn't, like, he's, he's, you know, my problem with that movie is, is he's showing... He's telling rather than showing, right? Uh, so we're just supposed to believe that th this woman and this sea creature have a, a bond. They, he just tells us that. We don't really experience that. They put their hand on the glass and all of a sudden they're supposed to be in love. <laughs> well, anyway, the Academy liked it. Well, they, you can't hide behind the Academy. They like a lot of crap. How about... Um, here's a little one. The kids are all right. Oh, Remember yeah. that movie? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Julianne Mark, Moore. Mark Ruffalo or something. Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. and Annette Benning. Sorry. Yeah, Annette Benning. All right. And her performance is extraordinary. Yeah. Movie. Well, let's not forget. Yeah. In fact, we ought to do a show on Netflix. What do you think we do then hmm. next time? Because Roma. Yeah, Roma comes. Roma was Roma, an important film. The Irishman. Yeah, yeah, it was an important film from Netflix. We'll talk about them later. I have been the, one of the, the biggest crop of uh, um, best Oscar picture nominees, sure to come from uh, Netflix. I know. The Two Popes, yeah. Marriage Story, Irishman. All right. All right. We'll do that so, next time. Now, give me one thing you thought was overrated. One movie you thought was overrated, best of the... I would have decade. to say in 2016, Moonlight was a bit overrated for me. Okay. Uh, I thought it was murky, and I thought it was uh, hitting the spirit of the times, uh, contrary to uh, racism, and, and I just I just felt that La La Land should have gotten it okay. that year. I, I agree with you. I felt that there was something missing there, yep. that it was... Uh, it was a movie, it's certainly an important movie and a, and a great first work. Um, but yeah, there was something lacking there for me. Um, I'm going to add one to the list, uh, <laughs> overrated, Inside Lewin Davis. Oh yeah, and I like him. I love him, <laughs> love the Coen Brothers. Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac in the Coen Brothers sort of 1960s folk music. Yes, yeah, right. Dark comedy, and uh, it... it Got a lot of praise, ended up on a lot of these best of the, the decade lists, but for me, 
I don't know. There's, there's also no, something. No, there's something languid about it. Something dark and Yeah, I'm and not even slow. sure Oscar Isaac is right for it. <laughs> right. He sings Good great. He yeah. sings great. Uh, but it, I could have used somebody a little more dynamic and even a little more unlikable. I'll tell you, one that we're going to forget because we're, we're not even having one of the greatest actors of our time. Yeah. And this would be in 2012, I think. Lincoln. Oh, yeah. Huh? That's cool. Do you have more on your list? I want to play a little game. Yeah. Okay, because we have, there's more. Let's just say, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll name titles and you say yes or no. Okay? All yes right. or no, they go All on right. the list. <laughs> Toy Story 3. Yes. True Grit. Yes. Under the Skin. Yes. Uh, Inception. Uh, no. Okay, no, no you can no. say no. I know, I'm saying say it. no. Uh, a Ghost Story. No. No. Mission Impossible 5, Rogue Nation. <laughs> Got to do something with them, yes. Okay, Beasts of the Southern Wild. Oh, yeah, good one. Silver Linings Playbook. Yep, got it on my list. Rocky Balboa. Well, I uh, dare to say no in front of you. <laughs> get Out. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. No, I'm telling you, Get Out. <laughs> okay, no, The Grand Budapest Hotel. Oh, yes, got that too. Uh, Manchester by the Sea. Yes, forgot that one. I didn't even have it on my list. Uh, and Phantom Thread. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yes, oh, but again, okay. Daniel Day-Lewis. Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah, there you, you go. You give me the rest of yours, and I'll say yes or no. No, I'm going to give you another Black Swan. No. <laughs> Gone Girl. No. <laughs> Birdman. No. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. It's overrated. It's a, 12 Years a Slave. Yes. All right. Uh, imitation Game. No. All right, okay. Uh, Martian. No. Oh, <laughs> you're so tough. Tree of Life. No. <laughs> Before Midnight. No. Oh, my gosh. I'm running out. Mad Max. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Ex Machina. Ah, uh, so, so. Yeah, yeah, all right. Maybe. Yeah, right. And one I'm so surprised you didn't have on your list because I think you liked it. In 2014, Nightcrawler. I had it right here in script over. Yes, we end on agreement. That's nice. All right. That's it. That's the decade. All right, here we go again. <laughs>